Today's Eye on Entertainment, Goldie Hawn and Amy Schumer play mother and daughter in a new film just in time for Mother's Day. It sure looks funny, too. Yeah, CBS 2's entertainment reporter Suzanne Marquez is live in Westwood at the premiere of Snatched. Suzanne? Pat and Rick, this film also brought Goldie Hawn out of retirement after a 14-year absence. Have a look behind me. You can see the red carpet. It's all set up. Broxton is shut down. You can see police out here as well as the media waiting to walk onto the carpet and get into their spots, which we'll be doing in just a few minutes. But in the meantime, have a look at a piece of the film, Snatched. What's your pen number? Everything he says. I already am before you told me okay. to. Okay. One, two, three. Oh, God. I was going to change it. I will get us out of here. That it does look hilarious. It's snatched Goldie and Amy head to South America after Amy's character is dumped but get kidnapped in paradise. Goldie says the right person and a funny script would lure her out of retirement. And apparently, snatched did the trick. It's in theaters this Friday. So take your mom if she can watch a rated R film because that's what it is. The rock for president, Dwayne Johnson, says he thinks it's, quote, a real possibility. In an interview with GQ, he revealed he was asked for endorsements by both presidential candidates last year, but didn't take sides. He says he's an independent. When pressed for details, he said he's against the travel ban. Oh, we can hear him sing a Moana right there. That's one reason he is the highest paid actor in Hollywood. Now, as far as being political, he says he doesn't believe in the travel ban because he isn't a believer of bans on immigrants, but highest paid actor in Hollywood. What's next? The presidency. You never know. Pat and Rick, send it back to you.